Hey guys, I'm here at the Massac, I guess pronounced M A S S A C County. Uh, hey guys, I'm here at the Masonic Cemetery in uh, Metropolis, Illinois. Um, looking for the grave of Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz. Um, crypt there. Pretty old cemetery. Um, in some disrepair, but not terrible. Um, anyways, Robert Stroud, Stroud, he was a criminal murderer and he was a federal prison at Alcatraz. Um, and he was, um, became known as the Birdman of Alcatraz. That's how most people know him. Um, he was kind of made, made famous, infamous, I guess, as a, uh, from the Burt Lancaster's movie, uh, that was done quite a while ago and kind of made him out to be a pretty, pretty uh, easygoing guy, uh, but he was anything but that. He was a he was a brutal murderer, and um, uh, he got a lot of attention from the movie just because uh, um, the way he was made out to be. And I am not finding him in here. I know he's in this area someplace. I've actually been here once before, eight years ago or so. And now I'm not finding him here. Anyways, I guess a little bit more about Robert as I as I look for his uh, look for his grave here. Actually, we'll do this in a fashion way. We'll use we'll use uh, we'll use the uh, Find the Grave app and and uh, get a little closer to it. Uh, for the most part, people kind of they uh, mark the location of the grave, and um, if they do it right. They uh, can lead you almost right to it, and. Uh, like I said, you can find who you're looking for. All right, I should be getting pretty close here. It says I should be right, right there, but I am still not, oh, there he is. <laughs> With all the birds right in front of me here. All right, here is the grave of Robert Shroud. Stroud, I'm sorry, uh, surrounded by all the birds. Like I said, he is uh, known as a Birdman of Alcatraz. Uh, he was kind of portrayed in the Burt Lancaster movie, uh, Birdman of Alcatraz, 1962, uh, as a pretty passive guy, not very violent, but in actuality, he was a very violent, terrible temper. And he had a lot of different, uh, a lot of difficulties trying to control it. Never repented his killings, and uh, he was usually kept in pretty much isolation uh, to protect the other inmates from him. So he was born uh, in Seattle, Washington, uh, to Elizabeth and Ben Stroud. And his mother Elizabeth here, 1860 to uh, 1838 or 1938, right buried beside him. Mimi Schaefer, that would be a uh, be a sister there. Anyway, she was born 19 or 1890 in Seattle, Washington, and at the uh, age of 18, he left home and went to Alaska. Uh, there, he uh, met Kitty O'Brien, was quite a bit older than him, almost twice his age. She was a prostitute. I'm sorry, working girl, sex worker. What are you going to call it? Uh, not judging. And uh, they moved to Juneau, Alaska in 1909. And uh, 
one of Kitty's customers, a Charlie Van Domher, um, beat and raped her and left her without pain, and this pissed Stroud off. He was he was okay with his, his uh, girlfriend working and uh, being a sex worker, but had to get paid. He confronted the man, killed him, and he was given 12 years of manslaughter uh, up in the Puget Sound Federal Penitentiary. He then assaulted uh, an orderly there at the at the hospital in 1912, and he was transferred to the federal federal penitentiary in Leavenworth, Kansas, so Leavenworth Prison, where he stabbed and killed a guard in the prison cafeteria. So clearly, not a nice guy. He was sentenced to death, but uh, Woodrow Wilson commuted his sentence to life without parole. Uh, while at Leavenworth, this is where the Birdman story comes in. Uh, he found a uh, injured sparrow in the prison yard and kept it, caring for it. And the warden there at the time, he really, uh, he's pretty progressive in rehabilitation. And he he's provided Stroud with cages and supplies, stationary for his uh, aviary. During that time, Stroud would uh, write two books, The Diseases, Diseases of Canaries and Stroud's Digest to the Diseases of Birds. And he, I think he smuggled those out and got them published. And he, you know, he made some money. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he was, he was, he was doing pretty well for being in prison. Like I said, earning a, earning a living somehow. Uh, in 1933, he married, uh, a pen pal and this allowed him to stay at Leavenworth, uh, because, uh, they could, at the time they couldn't transfer a federal prisoner out of the state if he was, uh, married in that state. Um, mainly because he started at that point in time, you know, he's got a little fame, Getting a little respect. He has some really smart, intelligent people contacting him about birds, etc. And this finally started wearing on the prison management. Um, until he was, they realized he was using some of his bird making supplies to actually make uh, make alcohol. So then he was sent to Alcatraz Prison, where he spent the next uh, 17 years of his life. And in Alcatraz, they did not allow the uh, keeping of birds. And uh, so, you know, they call him the Birdman of Alcatraz, but really it all happened at Leavenworth. Uh, again, it just got to fame um, with Burt Lancaster's film, of course. Uh, anyways, he uh, wrote two more books while he was there. Bob Bye, which is uh, his autobiography, and Looking Outward, a history of the U.S. prison system for, from colonial times to the foundation of the Bureau of Prisons. In 1959, his health started failing, and he was transferred to the Springfield, Missouri. Uh, it was a medical uh, center for federal prisoners there. And that is where he died on November 21st, 1963, after 54 years of incarceration. And like I said, he's he's buried here in this cemetery. Uh, this is where his mother, mother is buried. And uh, he's in the, I guess, the northwest corner. If you use Google Maps, it's actually pinned on Google Maps. If you're looking for his grave. Got a few above crypts here. It's a nice, I mean, like I said, it's a nice cemetery. It's got some age. It's got some condition issues um, here. But uh, like I said, it's, it's still being actively used on the north end. Um, we'll walk around here, make sure there's nothing on the, make sure there's nothing on the back here of any of these stones. No, there's not. Like I said, you can see all the all the birds sitting on his uh, his tombstone there. Those little solar ones. Wind chimes. Somebody brought a bird feeder out there. Whistling bird there. Pretty well visited little uh, little tombstone here for a, a murderer. But uh, yeah, so there we go. The grave of Robert Stroud, murderer, the, and uh, better known as the Birdman of Alcatraz.